All right, if you were watching us throughout the morning show, you saw that it was 100% humidity in West Bend. Yeah, and we're still dealing with some fog there this morning. It certainly feels very humid outside all across the area as we're starting out today. Port Washington, West Bend, that's where we're dealing with some very low visibilities this morning. Be on the lookout for some fog in those areas. The rest of the area looks pretty good based on the cameras. Uh, things look good. Lake Geneva, you might be seeing a little bit of fog this morning, but this should mix out uh, fairly quickly here. Temperatures in to the 60s as we're headed through this morning. Winds out of the east, northeast. Those areas where we have the calm winds, that's where we're seeing that fog developing. Storm Fort Max radar, no rain to talk about as we're starting out this morning. It's pretty quiet outside of the fog, but we are going to start to see a few more high clouds moving in as we get into later this morning and this afternoon. Now, as far as the storm outlook for today, across the western part of the state, that's where we've got some potential for a couple of showers and some thunderstorms. Mainly it looks like that's going to be late tonight. Uh, the better chance for any thunderstorms today, and that actually looks like it'll be late today, will be across Iowa. So the rain chances for us looking nice and low. Uh, it is going to be another nice day to spend some time outdoors, a little cooler than yesterday too. Uh, but as far as the rain chances go, all the way through this evening, we're going to keep those rain chances very low. They start to go up after about 7, 8 o'clock tonight. Here's how it looks with future forecast. So we move through the rest of this morning into this afternoon. Notice a few more clouds moving in, but we're going to stay dry. It's this evening into tonight that we could see a couple of showers. Best chance for that is going to be in the western part of the viewing area here. Maybe one or two of those showers sneaks over close to the coast by late tonight. Now, as we move forward in time, this is Monday morning here, 730. Couple of showers, maybe an isolated thunder shower as we're starting out the morning. One of the other models a little more aggressive with the rain in the morning, so we could see a few more showers than what you're seeing on the screen here. Monday afternoon, some scattered showers, some thunder showers in place. Doesn't look like a total washout for Monday, but certainly we're going to keep some showers and storms going. We could see a little bit more widespread rain and storm activity late in the day on Monday as well. Up north today, temperature readings largely into the 80s here, and it looks like we'll keep it dry through the afternoon hours. It's really not until late this afternoon into tonight that the western part of the state uh, where we could see some of those showers and storms. Milwaukee today, we're going to call it 79 for the official high. So again, partly cloudy, uh, just an isolated inland shower late winds out of the east. 10 to 15 miles an hour. Tomorrow temperatures are back up to about 83, but notice inland where temperatures will make it into the upper 80s. So we look ahead to Tuesday, a couple of showers, some isolated thunder showers. The seven day looks a little different than my seven day yesterday. I took out that chance for rain and any storms on Wednesday. Looks like we'll dry things out for Wednesday. Could see some showers and storms back in the forecast as we get into Thursday. And as of right now, Friday, Saturday, Looks like it'll be dry, but temperatures, uh, especially just beyond the seven day forecast and next weekend, looks like they could be pretty warm and pretty humid. So that will be uh, something that we're watching as we move into the next couple of days here. Julia? Fourth of July weekend. Thank you yeah. so much.